Hello guys, I hope everyone he's doing good. And welcome on another Warframe video. In this video, we gonna talk about Kuva Chakur. As always, you can get Kuva Chakur by defeating Kuva Liches. This is a rifle weapon, more like a sniper gun. He do a lot more damage, when you shoot into the head. So this is a weapon, for people who like headshots. Because when you hit in the body, and not the head. This is not the same damage, you need to land those headshots with this weapon. You can't play other way with this gun. He can be used for Eidolon hunting too, he is pretty good for that. You can one or two shots Eidolon part, if builded correctly of course. Ok now, we need to see his stats. First, he got 50% critical chance. This is high critical chance, that means you can reach 100% easily and 150% with a Riven if you want to. He have 2.3 critical multiplier, which is not bad. He got a 11 bullets magazine capacity which is for a rifle like this, very good. His fire rate is 1.17, pretty legit in my opinion. He have a big downside, the reload. Reload is 3.3 seconds, that mean you have to equip primed fast hands on it. You not forced to play with this mod, but he can give 55% reload speed. With that, you can reach 2.1 seconds reload, that's pretty much the reload of the Rubico Prime. I highly suggest you play him, just for more versatility, and more comfort. His status chance is not bad too, 27%. Very okay. He comes with 260 impact damage, he is mainly impact like his brother Rubico Prime. Even if the Rubico Prime, isn't really his brother. Usually, snipers come with impact damage. You can see, he got slash, puncture and blast damage too. That mean when you shoot into the head, that knock down the enemy. If you want to do Eidolon with this weapon, I suggest you spawn your Lich with Loki which is radiation damage. Ok I think, we done for the stats. Let's jump into the builds. So we have Eidolon Classic build with, Point Strike, Vital Sense, Serration, Split Chamber. Now, I added some elemental mods, because I got 57% bonus radiation on the weapon, and I use it for some Eidolons hunting sometimes. This is why I put, Hellfire and Stormbringer. Of course we have, Primed Fast Hands, and Vigilante Armaments for some multi-shot, for the Exilus, I use Vigilante supplies for more crit chance, and more ammo of course. Keep in mind, this is a Kuva weapon, that mean you have double capacity on the weapon. But, if you want to master it, you need 5 Formas. With this setup, we can reach 125% critical chance, 5.1 critical multiplier. We have 5846 radiation damage, that's a lot of fucking damage. Beside that, we got OK stats and slash, puncture, blast. So this is an Eidolon build, now we need to see my basic build. For the basic build, I play the 4 classic. Serration, Split Chamber, Point Strike, Vital Sense. I added Heavy Caliber, don't worry guys, you can still land those headshots easily even with Heavy Caliber. The accuracy of this weapon is 100, when you put Heavy Caliber you are at 25.2 which is enough, for land those headshots even at 25 meters. I put Hunter Munitions, because you will see, this is madness slash prox. I still got primed fast hands, in my opinion I will always play with him, because 3.3 seconds for reloading, for me is too much. Ok now, is time for some crazy damage. First we gonna see the build versus heavy armored units like, heavy gunners. As you can see, if you land a headshot on those guys, you will one shot. Did you see that slash damage prox? Oh my god, this is so effective, we got 10k damage slash prox. Now I'm gonna shoot into a body, and not a headshot. You can see the difference between the damage on headshots, and the damage on bodies. Pretty not the same, this is why you need to land headshots. Ok but how about corpus now, while well, we gonna test it versus corpus. Let's put some Eximus Techman level 150. We are playing radiation, which is not the best for corpus, but this is ok. Even with that we just destroy them. Last one faction we need to test it, infested. Let's see how it works versus Ancient Healer Eximus level 150. And again, he shine more than the sun itself. A remarkable performance Chakur, this test is now complete. So, overall, is this weapon good or not? Well, my answer is, oh yes. This weapon is not for all players, but, for players who like this headshot playstyle. This weapon is amazing, he got good damage on the paper, and his playstyle is funny. Alright guys, I think that's it for this video. I hope that you find it informative, if it is, you can help me just by pressing that like button.
Thank you very much for watching. I see you in the next videos. Bye.